Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Baby AGI. Now this is an AI powered task management system similar to Agent GPT or God Mode Space which came out a few weeks ago but they just released this as a web app available to everybody. That means you don't need to install Baby AGI locally to try this out. And in this video I'm going to go over how to use this step by step. Now if this is your first time to my channel, I encourage you to sign up to my AI newsletter where I'm going to soon start sending hand-drawn AI workflows that I create for myself. Also, I recommend you to go to my playlist section and go to this playlist called Sparks of AGI and make sure to watch this first video before starting on Baby AGI. Here I show you how to set up a paid account on OpenAI because you're going to need your OpenAI API key to use on Baby AGI and it's actually not that much. You're going to spend maybe a few few cents if you try this out. So I recommend everybody to at least set up a paid account and set their usage limits so that they can try out all these autonomous AI agents like Agent GPT or Baby AGI without worrying about overspending on their OpenAI account. All right, let's get started. Now Baby AGI works very similar to AutoGPT in the back end where you provide it a specific task which can be as generic or specific as you want. It then sends the task to different execution agents which use OpenAI's API to complete those tasks. Now, if you want to understand this process on a more technical level, I highly recommend you read this article by Yohei Nakajima, who is one of the founders of Baby AGI, and he has done a really good job explaining all the things that are happening in autonomous agents and how it stores data and how it goes about finishing all these tasks. And this article is really not that long and it's not even that technical. There's no code involved. So you can at least understand on a textual basis on what's going on with AI agents. Now what happened recently is that the founders of Baby AGI came up with and it's hosted on this link called babyagi-ui.vercel.app and this is where I'm going to try out a few tasks to see how babyagi works. Now there's a few things I wanted to mention before I start. You can find the text tag that has been used to build this UI right here. And there's also a roadmap for this UI that is available right here. The first thing here is that Baby AGI can now search and scrape the web. Now just a day ago, this UI actually could not use the internet at all to complete any of these tasks. But now they just completed this task. That means Baby AGI can use the internet. Now, there is a small catch here though. If you use GPT 3.5 that most people have access to, you still can't really use the internet. But if you have access to GPT 4, that is where this baby B AGI mode gets activated. And when you select this button right here, it can now search and scrape the web to complete any of these tasks. And they do mention here that it's an experimental feature and it may not always work and can be slow at times. Now, personally, I don't have GPT-4 access yet, so I'm not gonna use that feature. If you see the rest of the roadmap, you're gonna see that the execution history is actually not complete yet and nor does exporting any of the execution results. So these will be features that will come along pretty soon. And also, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos and some of my comments, you do need to adjust your expectations a little bit with these products like AutoGPT and Baby AGI, which are using autonomous agents. So most of these tools are still using ChatGPT in the backend to complete and figure out the next tasks. It still can't really execute all these tasks. It's just using an infinite loop and chaining together multiple GPT executions to come up with a set of tasks. All right, now let's go ahead with testing some AI. So like always, I prefer to keep my window on a dark mode, but if you prefer for it to be lighter, you can click this mode right here and it changes to light mode. Now the one feature I like here which sets it apart from God Mode Space or Agent GPT is you can actually choose the number of iterations it does to complete a task. For example, if you choose three, it's going to come up with three tasks for your goal and stop right there. Similarly, if you choose 10 or 50, 
is going to go ahead and keep executing these tasks on a loop until it reaches 50. Of course, if you choose infinity, it's going to keep repeating it again and again and again. But the issue there is it can drain your OpenAI account. But of course, hopefully you watch this video and set your usage limit so nothing will happen to your account even if you set this to infinity and you know exactly how much you will spend. For me, I'm going to start with setting my iterations to three. I'm going to set my goal as something that I try in my recent videos i'm going to say build my ai newsletter and scale it to 100,000 users now that is the main goal and you can mention your first task right here and that is what it will lead with so i'm going to say build the structure of my ai newsletter so now that I have my goal and my first task ready to go, I have to provide my OpenAI API key and I can get that from my OpenAI paid account. I just go to my API keys, create a new API key called baby AGI UI and click secret key. I'm going to copy it right here and I'm going to paste it right there. So I have my goal, my first task, and my number of iterations ready to go. And all I do is click this arrow right here. All right, it has started its work. It says, sure, I can help you build the structure of a newsletter. To start, we need to define the target audience, the type of content, the frequency of publication, and once we have this information, we can create a template for this newsletter. And this includes a header, a main section, some featured content, and a footer with additional resources or call to actions. Cool, now it has come up with a task list of 10 items, which start from conducting market research, developing a content strategy, a publication schedule, design a visually appealing template, a system for tracking user engagement, implement tactics to grow user base, evaluate optimized content, explore opportunities for sponsorships, develop a monetization strategy, a system for managing and responding to user feedback. Cool, that sounds promising. Now it has taken the first item from this list and done further research on that item. So for this specific item that is conduct market research, it has come up with 10 more actually 19 more tasks that needs to be done for this task to complete. As you see, it's an infinite loop. So every time it comes up with a task, it can come up with a bunch of tasks for each of these. And actually it has taken the first item from this task list, which is develop a lead generation strategy and come up with even more tasks and these are a bit more detailed it says to develop a lead generation strategy you need to create a landing page offer a valuable lead magnet such as an ebook white paper or webinar and i was working on building that for my newsletter anyways optimize lead capture forms leverage social media which i'm doing already partner with some organizations and now it says end of iterations which is great now you see how this is useful because i set my iterations to three if i set this to infinite what it will do is based on my first task or goal it's going to come up with 10 tasks or 15 tasks whatever and for each of those it's going to come up with 10 or 20 more and for each of those again it's going to come up with 10 or 20 more again and you see this can go for a long long time now this may look exhausting or you might be wondering this is too much information but think of this for a second the amount of research that baby agi is doing right now on one click is something that would usually need an entire team so for each of these tasks you probably need an entire employee to figure out how to do market research or to develop a content strategy or to implement tactics on how to grow a subscriber base each of these are tasks which needs an entire person itself so this is incredibly useful if you are trying to figure out a direction you need to take to complete any kind of business task. So overall, I think this is pretty useful for what it does right now with GPT 3.5 and an option to set the number of iterations. So overall, I think I prefer this over something like God Mode Space where you can't even set the
set the number of iterations and it can go for ages and ages until you close the browser or find a way to stop your execution by revoking your OpenAI key. So I hope you understand the power of BBHEI and hopefully use it for your own work. If you have used any kind of AI agent tool successfully, please add a comment and let me know. And I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and my YouTube channel and click like on this video. Till the next one, thank you so much.